Before I start this video, I just want to give a shout out to Nerdforge. A couple of weeks ago, they made these really awesome goblets out of wine glasses, so I thought I would give it a try myself. To make these goblets, I've got some clay here. It's Fimo and it's black. I've got some wine glasses, got some sculpting thingies. I've also got some liquid Fimo so that I can help smaller pieces attach to the glass. And I've got some porcelain glossy medium just to put on afterwards. So I'm gonna unbox these wine glasses and then let's get started. Okay, so I've just covered the base with clay. It's not very inventive, but it's a start. It's kind of picking up all of my fingerprints, so I'm gonna have to smooth it out with the tools to make sure that they don't show in the final result, because that would look stupid. But for now, this is the beginning. It's amazing. <laughs> Before I move on to the second glass, I think I'm going to bake this one first just to see if it turns out okay, make sure the glass doesn't smash or anything. So let's do it. Alrighty, it is out of the oven and I cannot believe it, but it actually worked. Amazing. <laughs> it looks great. I mean, the design is okay, but it, I just wanted to sort of start with something relatively simple. So I'm going to move on now and do another one.
just want to go over a few things that I've discovered in using this um, clay is that it's really hard to actually mold until it sort of warms up a little bit. I did try and do another one on this glass, but it was an absolute failure. I was hoping to do some sort of like medieval arches on it, but it was kind of looking really dumb. So I actually just abandoned that idea and just pulled it all apart. I haven't also been using this liquid Fimo stuff. I figured that I would use this to help it stick to the glass, but it seems to stick okay. Another little trick I noticed is that it sticks to everything. So it is sticking to my cutting board. Um, I don't actually have any baking paper, but that would probably be the best bet. So make sure that you have some of that if you want to be working on a surface with it. So now that I've got my two glasses done, I was going to do all four, but I figure I'll just stop at two because I really want to get painting. So I've got all my paints out. You can see these paints on the back wall. If you haven't seen the video where I built this storage system, I'll link that in the description below and I'll also put a thing in the corner. I've also got some extra ones here. I don't know why I needed this many, but <laughs> I'll just go with the shimmering silver because I want to make this one into like a silvery metal type looking one. And I hope I've got gold. Is that gold? Splendid gold. Excellent, excellent. This one is obviously going to be brown with green leaves. Ooh, looking forward to it. I've got four brushes. I've got um, two larger ones and then some small ones for some details. And I've got water, so I'm all set to go. Anyway, let's get painting. very tedious but it's looking good gold.
I am all done and I'm so happy with how they came out. Uh, the painting was a lot more tricky than I thought. It was very intricate, especially around the branches of this one. So if you're going to attempt this as well, then consider what your design is going to be because you're going to have to paint it. And if it's really intricate, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, I managed to pull it off with not too much, you know, overspill. Um, and I left the base of this black and you can see some of the vines coming up the side I've left in black. I think it sort of works as a nice balance. Um, I'm really happy with how the dry brushing came out and um, I've never done that before and it seemed to work really well and it's really easy. One thing that I will say though is that it does pick up fingerprints. Um, I thought I had like pushed all the fingerprints out of the clay but it does still pick up some of them. So, so if you're doing dry brushing make sure that you get all your fingerprints off the clay. Um, but it's not too bad. I think if you look at it from a distance, then you won't even notice them. So I'm going to show you the final shots. And if you want to give this a go, please feel free to tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you come up with. And also don't forget to check out Nerdforge's video. They were the ones that I saw this on and their designs are absolutely beautiful. So make sure you show them some love and let them know that I sent you. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.